Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the Windows 10 RTM out-of-box experience. So this is following on from my installation video, which you can see linked in the comments below. And the basically the out-of-box experience, the first boot you get after the install. Here we have the option for the, entering the product key. We are going to skip that for now, um, as being pre-release but the final version I don't have a valid key for it yet so we are going to continue without activating connecting to my wireless there and we are going to look at the custom settings rather than just going through on express settings so some basic personalization options um, and some bits for setting how your browser acts and error reporting normally it's safe to run through these on the express settings and um, but obviously if you're a bit more security conscious or for whatever reason you don't want them reporting you can remove them in there now it's just going through some of the setup so it's getting um, applying these initial settings before carrying on with the user setup So now this will be familiar to users who've set up Windows 8.1 out of the box in the past. So it's just doing you know its initial bits, giving you a few messages. Um, you don't have some of the messages about uh, charm bars and that because they're no longer present. Um, but it's just going through and getting bits ready. And now it returns to give us our user setup. Now this is new, we have the option of whether we're setting it up as part of an organisation or a personal system. I'm going to set it up as my personal laptop and then entering my Microsoft account details into here. There are options as well to create a new account or to skip this if you only want to use a local account. Um, local accounts you can still sign into apps individually, um, but in this case I've decided to go through and use the Microsoft account features. There's also the option of setting a pin. If you don't want to do this, you have to scroll down on the machine I've got here. The skip this step's actually hidden. A bit silly, it could fit all the information on the screen. Um, if you do want to set a pin, then this can be used sort of universally across, say, your Windows phone, your tablet, and your laptop or desktop. But I'm going to just cancel that for now. And then we have the option again uh, with Microsoft's uh, Cortana, which is the sort of Siri equivalent. So we can either have this on or off, and again if we want it off we can scroll down and say not now, or we can say next and that will leave it on. There's no setup done for Cortana at this stage, it's purely just choosing whether you want it enabled or not. Now Windows will go through and do its app pre-install, um, so this is getting ready sort of the... Um, the modern UI style apps and just getting them set up on your user profile. If you were setting up a sort of OEM laptop for the first time which comes with Windows and other applications pre-installed they'll also get set up during this stage which can lengthen it uh, depending on how much is going on. Um, this should take around about a minute though just being a clean from the ISO install. So this should be completing in the next few moments and then that will take us to the desktop. Um, from here Windows is ready, it will start fetching drivers and things like that assuming you're connected to the internet, uh, but otherwise it's sort of ready for use. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you're looking to install Windows 10 be sure to check out our other videos looking at setting up a USB installer and running through the install process for Windows 10. And if you like what we do and want to see more of it then hit the like button and subscribe to stay in touch. Thanks for watching.